Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, if you recall, yesterday I posted what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max video and it's on my YouTube channel right now. If I head over there, I can show you guys. Look at that. Right there it is. Reorganizing my iPhone 11 Pro Max full gray themed look. So, with that being said, I want to show you guys what's on my phone because it's fully finished and I'm ready to show you. Without any further ado, let's jump in. So, cue the music. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I firstly have FaceTime. Let me go ahead and make sure this is... Okay. I have, like, different note documents that are, like, really, like, private. So um, I, got, I got to watch what I'm showing. I tried to film this, and I actually got my card number. And, yes, I keep my card number in my phone in case I need to purchase anything um, <laughs> from somewhere. And I also keep my grandfather's card number in there in case he needs to pay something while he's out in a different state. Anyway, so FaceTime calendar. Um, I love my calendar. I love how I can add things. As you can tell, my, grandma, my grandmother is going to bingo tonight. Um, they are having bingo, and I'm super excited about it. So, yeah, and I can just go ahead and I can add things like December 1st and the 2nd. I have stuff going on. Here's school going to be around here, and I love adding everything. So my photos are right here as well. I can go in and I can view all of my photos. My camera is right here. We're not going to show anything. We ought to show you guys my wall or my setup here. Hi. Like, look at that. That's cool. Okay. And then we have my mail, um, which has some of my mail in it, but most of my mail is in my Gmail app. I'm so sorry if you guys hear cars. This car is just flying by my house. It's very busy today. Um, I guess with the Black Friday, everyone's running around to get all their gifts and everything. It's so early in the morning. I'm sure everybody will cock down around like maybe like 12. They'll all calm the heck down. <laughs> it was really busy this morning at 5.30. I'm buy coffee. I woke up at 5.30. So I'll be up tonight really early. Um, I have my clock for my alarm, stopwatch, timer, world clock, whatever. My maps, in case I want to search for map. I'm not going to show you guys where I'm at because I'm actually at my house. And it is still working from my house. I'm pretty sure it'll show you my address. So I don't want that. Um, weather. Um, if we open that up, we can then see where I'm at. And there's also different locations like Orlando, Los Angeles, Greenville, Fort Riley. Oh, I miss going to Fort Riley. It's in Kansas. It's an army base. I was on it before and I really miss it with my grandfather. I can't believe I actually still have it in there. I'm getting tears. I'm sorry. Pittsburgh. Um, and then back on Carlisle, Cupertino, Boca Raton, Lancaster, Oklahoma Junction, Junction City, Oklahoma City. The good place I went with my grandfather, and I really miss it. Indianapolis, Danville, Wyoming, Denver, Utah. Utah is nine degrees right now. Girl, that's freaking cold. I've never seen it in the single digits like that it is here. Like, you can really go freeze a bottle of water in like five seconds. Okay, my reminders, this was I actually have my to-do, like, clean bedroom, clean sunroom, make room cozy, um, and I just made that by, like, cleaning up the room and, like, air freshening it and just making it, like, the coziest room ever, and then vacuuming my living room. Okay, I have two of them for 6 o'clock. I'm going to change the sunroom to 4 o'clock. 1, 4, 7.30, and then 6. Okay, I want to... That's not what I wanted to do. <sighs> Whatever, it's in there. Make room cozy. And there's another reminder for that. That's so stupid. I wanted it to be a whole separate room. Whatever, I'll fix it later. Okay. We have my notes, which I actually did not be able to do this because I showed you guys my card number and my grandfather's card number. So, okay. I don't think I have anything that is...
Ooh, black tea. I want to make some sweet tea today. I don't think I have um, this, but I do want to read off our First Amendment. So here's the First Amendment. If you guys want it, um, I guess check it out sometime. I have the news. I can go through my news and read what's going on for the day. Fossey, Fauci worries Thanksgiving may be maybe the start of a dark holiday season if COVID-19 cases continue to soar. Well, too bad, honey. Go freaking home and mind your own business. You're so goddamn old. You don't know what's going to happen. I'm not ruining my Thanksgiving because of this. Trump says he will leave White House if Electoral College votes for Joe Biden. He never said that. Is there, is there proof? <laughs> Look, the video won't even play. That's funny. Hello? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I, you can just look at news. I don't not like that app, so I honestly, um, I forgot to set this, but I like to go on the screen time. Off to a great start. Okay, so I like to create a app limit. And one of the limits that I like to create is just from another, and I just like to choose one of my apps here. Um, all apps. That's not what I want. Travel, shopping, and food. I say information and, yeah, news. There we go. Next. And I forgot to set this, but I like to have a limit on this app for only um, 10 minutes every day. And the reason why is just because I read too much news and I get very upset about it. And then I go on Twitter and I rant. So I like to have myself a limit for 10 hours. And as we go in here, it will continue. If we stay in here for 10 minutes, it'll let us know when our time is up. Um, and we can even go over here on this side and I can see my screen time. Um, also, so that's really, really nice. I like to note myself to 10 minutes on that news app. Um, then we have Apple Books. I like to read a little bit. Um, I have the Bible in here, A Christmas Carol, um, and of course the iPhone user guide. And I want to read The Secret Son by Joan Killaby, but I think it costs money. No, it doesn't. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and read that. And I'm also interested in reading Barack Obama, but I'm not paying no $20 for his book almost. Um, I just, you know, I don't really care who the president is. I'm not a full Democrat or Republican, and I don't really care who wins presidency or the president. I think we need to respect them, whoever they are. Um, the middle finger is not something you show to a president or anything. Um, that's just not right. So, moving on, we have the App Store. I love going in here, like, every every few days and seeing, like, this, like, top games of the week. And I can now see, like, what the top games are. Of course, I'm long it's going to be on there for a while. I'm um, relaxing Apple Arcade games. I use this mostly on my um, iPad because my phone does not really put games in it. But it is nice to look at this. Apple TV Health. On my Health app, I like to look at my sound, which is very, really annoying. I like to look at my blood oxygen. I like to look at my blood pressure. That's not even, that is my blood pressure. I think that's mine. Yes, it is. That was uh, September 28th. Um, my caffeine. I, I don't really put that in there very often, but hand washing. Girl, I washed my hands earlier today. Don't even freaking tell me that I have not washed my hands since November 25th. Girl, that was just today. I washed my hands like once today, I think. Yeah, because I went and got my coffee. I came back home and I washed my hands. And then I ate. Okay. Well, uh, my sleep is 7 hours and 55 minutes. I woke up at 6.37 a.m. That is wrong. I woke up at 5.30. That's right, because I never turned my alarm off until after the fact. Okay. And the rest of these apps. Home, wallet, settings, files, find my shortcuts. Apple Watch, please Slow down on my dang road. This limit is 35 miles per hour, and people fly by at like 45 or 50. Close the window. 
I get so sick of them cars going by. They're so noisy. Okay, and I can view my Apple Watch. I have the iTunes store, and I have my extras folder. And in this folder, I have Voice Memo's Compass, um, Measure, Calculator, 5,000 times 9 equals 45,000. Um, then I have the tips app in here. I don't really ever use it, but we do. So I do sometimes use it to record a video for you guys. Contacts and then Apple Translate. So you can do English to Portuguese. Hello. Hello there, friend. How are you? I missed you so much. Olá, amigo. Como você está? Sinto tanto a sua falta. Um, and the reason why I use this app a lot now because I play Roblox, and this one guy I have on Roblox, he speaks Portuguese. And it's really hard for me to talk to him. So I go ahead and I just, you know, switch it for him. And then he translates English to me. Um, so right here is the calendar. And this is my calendar from Widget Smith. So it is Friday the 27th. It is on my calendar. I can see it. What I don't like is I click and it opens Widget Smith. No. So I stacked them and turned off Smart Rotate. I want to make sure I did turn off Smart Rotate. Because I thought I saw it. It's not. It kept on switching. That's exactly why you got to turn off Smart Rotate. Because Smart Rotate will automatically swap those for you. Um, based on what you want to look at. And I kept on seeing this today a lot. And this today a lot. Switching. Um, I want it to stay gray. And then let's say I want to go to my calendar. Swipe. Click. Okay. Out. And then I can swipe. Oh. Weather. Swipe. Click. And they're off by one degree. <laughs> swipe. So. Widget Smith is a pretty good app. Um, I like it a lot. Um, the weather does cost one ninety nine a month, so. And this picture is just a picture of the city, black and white, it kind of fits my theme. Then I have Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, Outlook, Bible, Gmail, and Twitter. And I like how these have the icons. Uh, I think they're just better. And what I'm liking about this full gray theme is that it just looks so simplistic. Now, what I'm liking also so much about it is if I open an app over the top of my screen, it doesn't take you into shortcuts and then run the app. It just gets you into an app. Check. And it works. And it opens it and runs it. So Apple now, by the way, has a four-day event. Okay. Get a $50 gift card with an iPhone 11. $50 gift card with an XR. Or a $50 gift card with an SE. 25 why can they give you a gift card for those phones, but you buy a Pro Max or something, and they're really even more expensive, they're not going to give you any. $25 gift card if you buy a Series 3 Apple Watch. $25 gift card if you get an AirPods Pro. AirPods or AirPods, normal. Uh, $100 Apple gift card if you buy an iPad Pro. I already bought mine, but whatever. $150. $100. Another $50. And, yeah, that's it. So I want to go ahead and let you guys know about that. Um, but, yeah, I like how it runs. You can open things and it just go ahead and check. So I'm going to go ahead and treat real quick. Filming a video should be up by the end of the day. I'll give you a link once uploaded. Okay, my tweet was sent. So now here's what I like. My to-do list. Mine's a little bit full for today, but you go to my next screen, and you then can see my to-do list. Girl, did you have to? So what I don't like is I can't scroll. Now what I do want to do is I want to quickly edit this, and I want to stack my actual reminders on top. Now, what I want to do here is turn off Smart Rotate. I want to have that first, but I don't know why it's opening life. I want it to open the to-do list. 
Maybe once I give it some time, it will adjust. I'm going to go ahead and delete this life list. And I'm going to delete the school list. And I'm just going to keep... There we go. Now it's on the to-do list. And now I can scroll, and I can click on here, and I can actually open up my to-do list and check it out. And I really like that feature. Um, I'm liking the gray as well. And then I have this picture down here of me and my little puppy a few years ago. As you can see, I had no nails on then, and my dog was still pretty small. Um, it's an old picture. I think it was like 2016 or so, 2017. Um, and here's my food. Papa John's, Dunkin', Starbucks. I have my gaming apps, Discord, PS app, PS messages, Roblox. My Apple Watch apps, Parody, Fitness, Sepdog. My favorites, Voice, Yahoo, Feedback, Job Search, Bible, Bitmoji, Experian, PetSmart, S X X S B X Twelve Spirit Box, Spotify. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm tired. I woke up at five thirty. You gotta understand. My school apps: Diary, Brainly, Class Dojo, Class Link, IXL, Online School, Outlook, Mathway, and Word. My two bookmarks, this is a menu for the place I just ate the other night, Friday night, or no, Thursday night. Did we eat there last night? No, it was Thanksgiving yesterday, Wednesday night. And then here it says, welcome to Middlesex Center, our family staff. And then you can look at the fresh uh, things of the day. Today they're having New England clam chowder. And then, yeah, it just keeps on going. And you can look at all their prices and everything. So it's nice. And then you can also get the radio on station. This is finance. I have the shop app, my bank app, my UPS, USPS, and FedEx. And funny story, I lost my bank card earlier. So I did end up finding it. It was in my car under my seat. <laughs> okay. Messages, Netflix, Pandora, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, Parler, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. Utilities, I'm not going to go through all these games. I ain't going through all these, just taking too much time. Shopping, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Amazon, Apple Store, Rite Aid, Dollar General. We love a good Amazon. And wallpapers. These are all wallpaper apps. Valium is probably one of my favorite wallpaper apps. And I'm going to show you why here in a few minutes once it's finished downloading. I love this. Oh, are these, the, these are the 12 wallpapers? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. They're actually saved in here. And it's selling a, it's selling a, a mini thing. Keep them. I don't want to demolish. Okay. And the gold, oh my gosh, these are, oh, and the blue is so pretty. And here's these. I don't think these came on the phone. What are, oh, these are the 12. So yeah, they're all in here. I guess they found them at apple.com. Um, and then your daily wallpaper. Each day it gives you a daily wallpaper. And basically then from that point, you can choose a daily wallpaper. And here's another gift from Ed. X out. Thank you. I like this author a lot. Um, you can find Audible. Wallpapers, and this is a good gray one um, to match my phone, but they have many different ones that you can get. So these are really, really good. My favorite ones, I would say, are probably, where are they? Abstract paint. These are just so pretty, and they look so good on the phone. Where is that? Where is that one that I really, really liked? This one. Oh my gosh. It is just so clear and beautiful. And this is all free. Some apps do cost for premium. But other apps don't. It's all free, basically. So, I like that app a lot. But anyway, and this is my last screen. It just has my phone, my Safari, my messages, and my music on it. And that's really it. And I like it because if I want to open music, it doesn't go to shortcuts and then music. Same with Safari, same with phone, same with messages. 
I mean, it's just so dang good. What are you saying now? Shut the heck up. You are no longer the president. Well, you are till January, legally. But I'm done. Like, please stop texting me. I guess I should just, like, I just, like, get off his texting group. But whoever is the president, I get on their texting group to see what they're saying. So, okay. That's it. That's all that's on my phone. I like this app. It's really, really cute. Like, I'm just, like, waiting for this. And I want to go ahead and give out some phone numbers real quick. If you do want to text James Charles at his personal phone number, you can text James right at his personal phone number. It is right here. It is 310-905-8746. Um, and yes, he has given me permission to share his phone number. And same goes for um, Trent Shelton. Um, so Trent Shelton just shares like a motivational quote every single morning. You can go ahead and text him and join his group at 817-242-2719. I love whenever he sends me motivational messages every single morning. Like here, yesterday at 3.31 p.m., we should be getting one today sometime. But he says, just want to say I'm grateful for your support. I appreciate you becoming a part of the Rehab Time community. This month has been hard on me because of my mom's health situation. But your prayers are and patience as we work through this has meant the world. Thank you for being you. I'm here for you. For you. Let's get it. And even up here, a different one. Like, he just sends you one every single day. And I really like these. I used to share them on Facebook every single day, but I really appreciate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and say hi, Trent. I really appreciate your motivational quotes every single day. They mean so much to me. I really hope your mother is okay. I hope she gets better soon. God bless. Prayers going... Prayers? Prayers going out to you and your mother. Talk to you soon. So I figured I would share like something like a motivational quote with him as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's really it. I just want to show you what's on my iPhone and what's up. So anyway, um, and I'll be showing you guys how a few more minutes later on today or tomorrow, I'll probably be making this video go up today. It'll be up today. And then um, stay tuned because tomorrow I have a video coming out on how to, how to, how to take good control over your phone or your kids' phone. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.